Yeah, go ahead, Anil. Yeah. So uh, one of the statements uh, in our previous classes was that uh, uh, the dharma is something, the samanya dharma especially, which is not to be taught through education, but it is like to be understood. Matlab, we humans has to understand it. So for example, that someone should not steal, uh, someone should not hurt others and things like that. Now, uh, but we also hear stories like that, that uh, there was a thief who used to steal and things like that. And he never used to think it was wrong. So once uh, he was caught by the king and then he was uh, punished with his like uh, death in the sentence kind of thing. Then he came to his mother and told that, uh, it's all because of you. You never told me that this was something wrong. You never stopped me to, from doing this. So it's all your fault uh, because you never taught me like that. So I have been yeah. doing it like thinking it was all okay. So then how do we interpret such things? Yeah. <clears throat> so, so the story is meant to tell us, see, it's not that he doesn't know that it's wrong to steal. Because if we ask him how he steals, he will always tell you, I, 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 I go to work at night. You know, these thieves go to work at night, you know. That's why I said, I go to work at night. Why night? Are you working in India and doing this uh, offshore, uh, you know, supporting US? Is that why you're working in the night? You know, all these Indians, they do. They start their life. They start their day at 9 p.m. And then it keeps on going till 8 a.m., you know. So is that is that your job? No, no, night time. That's when everybody is sleeping. Why, why should you steal when everybody is sleeping? No, no, that's... Uh, how can I steal in the daytime? <laughs> so he's surprised that you're asking him this question, correct? <laughs> How will he answer this question? So he's clearly he knows that nobody wants to be stolen. Nobody wants their stuff to be stolen. And he knows it's wrong. That is why he goes by the cover of night. And what kind of stuff do you carry in your hand? You carry a suitcase or what? Attache or uh, you carry files? You know, what do you carry? No, no, I've got special, special implements, which I bought from the hardware store, which they don't sell in the hardware store. I had to make it myself, right? So he is very clear. He knows very well. But because priorities are misplaced, because sometimes we don't think through, and so we get carried away by, by situations. So the story is meant to say that it is possible for you to get carried away. Don't think just because everybody is doing. So these reasons, we give reasons. Oh, everybody is doing it, therefore I, sh I will do it. Now children give this reason to parents very often. They love to give this reason. They are very good. They want to, you know, they will play judo with parents. And so they say, oh, he's doing it, she's doing it. Then parents have to scratch their head. And then find out, mom, how am I going to deal with this? <laughs> you know. I have not attended Jake Maji's Bhagavad Gita class. I wish I attended. You know, those days he was calling me, but he, he never attended. So, uh, so therefore, these stories we don't uh, we, we we tells us that uh, yeah, it's possible for me to be doing something wrong without being aware of it because it is suppressed, it is subdued. Somebody has to point out, hey, this is not right. You are not. You did not do that. You should not do that. And so that's 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 a message we take from that. Okay. Yeah. Good. All right. So, I have it. Ba, ba, yeah, Bhagya, go ahead. Right. Yeah. See, when uh, uh, Krishna talks about being equipoised, uh, who's who's being, who's talking? Uh, Krishna. Now, can you raise your hand? Can you raise your hand? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Right, right. Yeah, yeah okay. When, That's fine. So, yeah, when, I, I, you know, which Krishna is talking? The, 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 <laughs> the yeah, Mahabharata yeah. Krishna or the... Mahabharata <laughs> Krishna. Being equipage. You see, um, we human beings behave um, naturally, right? We are given emotions. So, when uh, something goes good, uh, we show expression of joy. When something uh, doesn't go good, uh, the natural expression is feeling of uh, sadness. So, but we are, when we are told that we have to use the buddhi, 
we otherwise we are the miser then the buddhi has to dictate the natural emotions not to be overjoyed by something happening to be good and not to be sad uh, because something is uh, so the buddhi is used to refine the natural behavior of the emotions yeah yeah so yeah that's a that's a natural question to come so when things happen in life i am not supposed to express my emotions i am supposed to suppress my emotions you know that question can come no no we don't suppress emotions so emotions should not be suppressed if emotions are suppressed then we have all kinds of emotional problems and uh, no that's not being suggested here hey you be normal things happen and you we are happy and you congratulate people you are happy for people who are happy right both people are happy and you are happy for people who are happy and you also sympathize with or empathize with people who who have undergone difficult experiences all these are there but the for the karma yogi that vision of ishvara comes and then that helps the person like a shock absorber so th- 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 therefore when the, something happens in my favor i am not carried away by it the problem is not elation or depression something doesn't work out in my favor i am disappointed i don't get carried away by the disappointment i don't get carried away by it because that's where the bite is correct the bite is there so we recognize what's positive what's not good all that we recognize and so so that normal emotions you are talking about you do express them but you the karma yoga comes and says yeah of course there is no guarantee that it's going to work out there is no guarantee when a flight takes off there is no guarantee that it's going to land the way you want it to land that vision is so important it's tough but what alternative do you have there's no alternate that vision it it frees the human being from taking on the burden of deciding the outcomes this is the freedom this is the freedom okay so yeah the emotions are all expressed but the, but it's like it's like the child comes and tells you and look dad i i did this look and the child is excited parent is also happy for the child excellent beta amazing you are every day you are getting better at it hmm very soon you will be an artist and the child is happy and uh, so like that we need to we need to tell ourselves that uh, uh, ishwara the order is important the order that defines actions and that defines the results is so important how can i abrogate how can i become the owner author of the results which i did not decide that has to come therefore the results can be anything and the results need not affect me and so there is initially there is a response which is going to be disappointment which is going to be happiness etc that is fine that is normal normal emotional responses should not be suppressed we this therefore gita is not suggesting suppression of emotional responses it helps you handle those emotions it helps you handle it amazing way there is no hangover person with this attitude you will not have a hangover somebody insulted you how will you deal with it it's it's there in the heart you can never forget that insult how will you deal with it who is a victim of this insult the person who insulted or you i am the victim somebody insults me i am the victim how are you going to deal with it? so there are ways to deal with these things and at the same time you've got karma yoga which which really provides us the basis for neutralizing what we call raga dveshas it's a key here raga dveshas are neutralized so we'll get more chance to 
uh, more opportunity to dwell over this topic. Hopefully that helps uh, Krishna for now. Huh? Thanks. Yeah, good. Yeah, Anjali, go ahead and unmute yourself. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. I am so, um, I, I have been missing this so much, Jai Kumarji. And um, every time I listen to you, I am so um, taken back about how much our Sanatan term and psychology intermix. And I'm thinking about this last, the Kaushalam, am I saying it right, Kaushalam? Yeah, Kaushalam. Okay. Kaushalam, which, um, what what I understand you saying is um, results of actions we don't have control over, but what we do have control over as is how we take it in, how we take it in our system, and that is actually a major part of of psychology when we work with patients because you know um, when you think about. Uh, something that happened to, happened to them, we as therapists, what we try to do is, is create a meaning or the, the, you know, we call it positivism, which is creating a meaning that could be different than, than just it's so awful or whatever. But um, you gave me something here to really kind of think about and integrate into my practice. And as usual, you always do this. So thanks so much. I don't know if you want to expand on that a little bit more, what I just said. Yeah, good to have you, Anjali. <clears throat> and uh, for the rest of the 40 people here, Anjali uh, is in Houston. And uh, we studied Bhagavad Gita together in Houston for many years, uh, week after week after week. And so it's good to see Anjali and Venkatesh. Yeah, so that the tendency of the human being is to consider oneself as a victim. The situations are there building and then it's just a matter of time for the, the right triggers are there. I will victimize myself. No, oh, it's, you know, so anything, any judgment, I make judgments about myself. And so that, that for, and enough stress is there and then that can break me down. And uh, yeah, so what you pointed out is, is correct. And Samatvam earlier, before you came in the last two, three classes ago, we covered this shloka number 48, I think, <clears throat> which had a, this idea of Samatvam Yoga Uchyate, which means taking things as prasada. The word prasada we dwelled upon quite a bit, which is so unique to our culture. Every language has that word. So that prasada buddhi, the attitude that what I get is really not decided by me. I don't have control over what I get, but I do have full control and I must take full control over what I do. That is kaushalam in this shloka that we are going to look at next class also, which is kaushalam refers to actions. Kaushalam refers to actions, that prasada buddhi refers to results. An attitude with respect to action and an attitude with respect to results. Both, both of them are two sides of the coin of karma yoga. Okay, I'll stop with that for now. Anjali. Thank you. Yeah? Thank you. Yeah. Somebody else I thought raised the hand. Yeah. Yeah, Bhagya was there. Yeah, go ahead, Bhagya. I just had a quick uh, grammar question, Jay Kumarji. Uh, ube, is it like, um, uh, is it the Napunsakalinga of Ubao? Is it the Dvivachana form of Subantu? Correct. Ube, is, uh, ube must be Dvivachana form of uh, Uba. Ubao. And I think it doesn't have singular and plural. That also yeah, you may want right. to check. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's what. That was one of my questions. Is it just vivachana because it is ubhav, right? And yeah, then ubhe. So ubhe, that's why ubhav is also there. Ubhav is okay. also there. Ubhe. Mm. Yeah. So um, and so sukruta and dushkruta must be uh, napunsakalinga, right? So that's why it's ube dushkruta. Sukruta. Correct. Sukrutam cha dushkrutam cha. Sukruta Dushkrute. That's the way to, that's a Vigraha Vakyam. Samasa, it's a Samasa. 
sukritam and duskritam becomes sukrita duskrite yeah yeah har prasad go ahead uba uba is only in dual jay kumar uba is only in dual right okay that's correct so, because the word uba itself means two and yeah. so it it uh, so you validated my suspicion that it it's only uh, yeah. declined in dual yeah correct yeah it is uh, uh, a sarvanama pada sarvanama pada it's a pronoun yeah it's yeah. a pronoun yeah but so we will uh, stop with that we'll chant the uh, <clears throat> धन्वंतरी मंत्र थ्री टाइम्स सो फॉर द न्यू वन संजलि एंड वेंकटेश वी बीन चैंटिंग दिस धन्वंतरी मंत्र टू 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 प्रे फॉर द डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ कोरोना वायरस सून एंड फॉर द प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ ऑल पीपल्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड अगेंस्ट दिस from this corona virus so we are doing that after every class and every day whenever we get a chance we do it at home om namo bhagavate vasudevaya dhanvantaraye amrita kalasha hastaya sarvamaya vinashanaya trailokyanathaya shri mahavishnave namaha om namo bhagavate vasudevaya dhanvantaraye अमृत कलशहस्ताय सर्वामय विनाशनाय त्रैलोक्यनाथाय श्री महाविष्णवे नम ओं नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय धन्वे अमृत कलशहस्ताय सर्वामय विनाशनाय त्रैलोक्यनाथाय श्री महाविष्णवे नम Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you, Jay.